So my birthday just passed and I got a million Ulta gift cards. So I'm going to do a try on haul for you guys. I'm going to show you everything I got and try on everything that I can fit in one video. First thing out of the box, I got this Acai Your Boobs Boob Serum from Truly. Obviously, I can't put this on for the video. I've got the Tropical Glow Sparkling Body Wash and the Shave Oil. These smell absolutely incredible. If you've tried like the Tree Hut Scrub or Lotion, you know the scrub, the lotion, and the Sparkling Body Spray from my Ulta here in town. But they were sold out of these, so I just ordered them online. Oh, so then I got a couple skincare refills. For me, these I use these all the time from Good Molecules. I use the Bakuchi oil. Is that correct? I feel like it's not. Baku Bakuchi oil oil blend for dry skin. I use that as a last step every single night for my skincare. And I got the hyaluronic acid also from Good Molecules. I use this every morning and night. This is why I don't film first thing in the morning because my voice like doesn't work. I feel like I'm already losing my voice. So those I've repurchased over and over and over again, but then I saw this and I really wanted to try it. It's the hyaluronic acid boosting essence. Another skincare item that I got was the Rock Multi-Correction Revive and Glow Daily Serum. And my last two refills that I get all the time are the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Pressed Powder and the Essence Lash Princess with the green packaging. This looks really interesting to me. I hope that I like it. I got the Ulta Beauty, like the Ulta brand, Cheek Squad. It's a cream face palette that's in this little stack that's a blush, bronzer, and highlight all all in a little stackable thing i got multiple cream bronzers and blushes because i have a problem so i love the pixie blushes in this form so i saw that they had bronzers so i got this one that looks like a proper bronzer right like it looks like nice and brown on the on the go bronze in the shade soft glow nice brown color for me but then in the bronzer section they had a shade called Warm Glow, which looks like this pink. It almost looks like that that sunburn color. So see what I mean? This one's obviously a bronzer, and then this one was in the bronzer section, and it says bronzer on it, but it's this like nice pink color. Another thing that I got kind of specifically for like my trip and my 10 minute makeup, just easy stuff, is this Wet n Wild Correction Concealer. So they have bronzers, blushes, highlights, all that in this packaging. And I saw that they had a concealer. So this I will be able to use today. Okay, randomly enough, because I have a problem, I also got two brush sets in my haul. So I got this one. They're, oh, they're both from Real Techniques, actually. I got the Real Techniques Everyday Eye Essentials. And I also got the Real Techniques Endless Summer this i don't have anything like so this has a tanning mitt a real technique sponge a body brush a i don't know what this like stippling brush they say that it's for but stippling brush and then it has two double-sided brushes right here i have not spent this much money on makeup and skincare in one sitting in years like ever since i had a, my first kid hey bubba hi Good morning. You want to come in here real quick? I can't see you. Hello. Good morning, honey. How do you feel? Okay, well, look at that difference. I just applied the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. It's a tinted moisturizer. And this brush basically put it on like medium coverage. Like it's normally a very light coverage. And it's like not even streaky. I normally use a beauty blender because every other brush ever has made my foundation streaky. That's a good little brush right there. That is a good little brush right there. So I'm gonna flip to the other side for the concealer and I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Cream Concealer and I hope it's good. this cream concealer really benefits from the beauty sponge. I just ran over it really quick 
and it looks a million times better but that could also just be my skin i have the driest skin on the planet and i live in a really dry climate so yeah blush oh my gosh you guys have no idea how excited i am about this i have no idea where the clip went but i also got a liquid blush and a powder blush from juvia's place so i'm going to be trying those on as well this is the liquid blush in the shade peach rose and i got it because that girl that i watched that has amazing blush also uses this blush so yeah here it is so i'm gonna do one dot like she does Oh my god, that is so pigmented! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, okay, let me put a normal amount on this side just from the residue that's on my blood, my sponge. Okay, so when you put a normal amount on, yeah, gorgeous, okay. Yeah, beautiful, yeah sweet i'm also feeling like this isn't just not my my shade like it's so beautiful on this side the application is beautiful but this shade is like too pink for me actually i also got they were sold out of the shade that i was going to get in the bronzer or i would also have a bronzer palette but i did get the blush palette that i thought would work for me i think there was five shades and I got volume two. See, these are more my lane, like a, an orangey guy and like a real peach. These I picked good. And so, <laughs> happy about that. Okay, time for a do-over. I'm gonna use this cream bronzer over here. So, that is beautiful though. So now I'm wondering about the highlight here. Like, why is the highlight, like see, it would catch the light on me. Like when my face is turned, it would just look like brown. So it's not gonna look that good. I mean, that is pretty, it's very glowy. But then you see when I'm looking straight on how there's a shadow. It's, it is very pretty. See, what is wrong with me? I'm picking all these berry shades. That is not, it's like, not gonna look good on me, I don't think. I'm scared. I don't wanna put this on. I wanna use the blush I know that I'm gonna like. So let's, I guess on this side, I will use this blush from Juvia's Place. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then I really like these palettes that have like a darker color and a lighter color because then I'll just take a dibble dabble of that and I'll put it on the highest point back here. I feel like this blush application really suits my face and might not be for everyone, but I really like it. Yeah, so then I have more intense back here and then up here it's a little bit lighter. Just, just, for, just for little giggles, let's put this on this side. Yeah, it's just too pink. It's just too like ready, rosy pink for me. But the formula, I'm telling you, the formula is gorgeous. Formula's amazing, I picked the wrong shade. Formula's amazing, I picked the wrong shade. You know what, while we're at it, I'm just gonna throw the bronzer, the other bronzer and cream blush on the other side of my face because we might as well just try everything, right? Oh my gosh, that is glowy. Oh my gosh. I'm glad that I did that. I'm glad that I did that. Okay, 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 okay. Too glowy, too glowy for me if you like a really glowy bronzer, but I like this level of pigment. This is too sheer for me. It's very sheer and glowy, this bronzer. So let's see this pinky blush color. Oh my gosh, how many failures am I gonna have? It just blends away, what's going on?
these are a total flop. I mean, I feel like you can see on the camera, but it is so sheer. You, I mean, did y'all just see me pile that on? It is so sheer and it blends away to basically nothing. I was really having high hopes for these. Can y'all see it when I get up close? It's like, it's not cute. It's really blotchy. You have to put on so much pigment or like so much product for it to look, for you to even see it. And then it's like blotchy when you're trying to blend it out because it wants to blend away to nothing. Okay, so we have some definite, definite winners. Juvia's Place Blush Powder Incredible. Beautiful. The liquid blush formula, gorgeous. So pigmented, amazing. This is $18 worth every penny because you will never go through this. You will need one. So pick the right shade. I'm gonna go exchange this for the correct shade. Those are winners, okay? This brush set, brush set <laughs> with the sponge and everything, total winners. Love it. I mean, you guys saw my reaction with the foundation brush love okay this is pretty good very good for quick application but for me requires a sponge so just keep that in mind this guy again love the formula but i'm just not sure if i can even repurchase this because it only has two colorways and unless every single shade works for you i don't think that it's worth it you know like i'll either keep this one and only have a bronzer and a highlight that work for me and never use the blush or the other one, if the bronzer is too light, I'll have only a blush and a highlight that I can use and I'll never touch the bronzer. So I will look at the lighter shade of this because I do absolutely adore the formula and the compactness of this. Um, but if the bronzer doesn't work for me, then, you know. These, unfortunately, I am so crazy disappointed. I mean, these were a total, total flop to have really sheer, glowy bronzer and blush, but it is definitely not my thing. Um, I love glow, but I like pigment with my glow. So these were just too sheer for me, too blotchy, too hard to work with. And that really sucks because the blush from Pixie that's in this packaging is gorgeous. And maybe they have a bronzer that's not a glowy bronzer in this packaging that's amazing, but for these glow the specifically the on the glow stuff not not lauren approved so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see this shower routine i will definitely do that if you want to see my updated tanning routine i will also do that and my skincare routines because that's everything else that was in this haul i can definitely show you guys my morning and nighttime skincare routines i am totally game for that Thank you guys so much for watching. All my other socials are linked down below and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.